man what's the deal welcome and welcome back to the channel make sure you like comment subscribe if you're new uh we finna make this real quick and to the point lil reese man prayers to him and the other two gentlemen that was shot i have not read the story i'm probably not about to read the story because i'm trying not to consume so much negativity and drama and traumatic things it affects my energy and if my energy is affected i'm affected to how i think and if you're affected by the way you think then that affects your actions and you get my drift right so i don't understand why these rappers not even rappers like hood nigga whoever it's these flies oh my god man these flies is everywhere it's hot where i'm at it's getting hot so they you know they try to come inside when it's hot so i gotta get some more fly traps whatever anyway um no one is untouchable you know uh the 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 Killers get killed every day. So, if you got family, you got loved ones, you have anybody who care about you, or people you care about, you got to take that in consideration. You know what I mean? If you feel you can't get out the hood, man, get some therapy. Seek help. You know, uh, I always advise people to meditate, you know, pray, um, change your diet, change the, your circle of people around you, uh, take a vacation somewhere, get a different scenery environment, and... uh yeah, if you're battling demons or, you know, bad habits, like, find, seek help. Because can't nobody come save you. Not the president, for sure, not me. Not your girl, not your mom, not your dad. Nobody can save you but you. You can only save yourself. You're your only savior, you know. And um, if we, we remember that, we understand we don't need the fucking streets. The streets don't love us. You feel me? We don't need people, you know, like... Yes, it feels good to have love around us, but people wake up and feel different and change every day, you know? But with Lil Reese, like, man, he just, like, dodged death, you know, not too long ago. And now, you know, he's back in this situation. It's unfortunate. And, um, yeah, man, make sure y'all pray for him and, you know, pray for everybody. Pray for the world, you know, pray for more peace out here because, like, it's bad, man. Like, these rappers, man, the statistics, you read the statistics, most rappers die in their own hood. You know, like, this is a known fact. I ain't got to name no names. I ain't got to do none of that. And, um, yeah, man, just, like, I be confused, though. Like, once I find myself in a position to where so many people depend on me, you know, my life is elevating for the better. Not just financially, I mean, just, like, being able to just live more freely because that's ultimate success is freedom you know and uh once i get there i don't see myself like setting myself up for failure i don't see myself being my own worst enemy and it's just i just it's a mindset though it's a mindset because you can know better but if your mind is corrupt you're not going to do better so take care of your mental health you know, like a lot of people be fearful to say they have a mental condition or they're not mentally stable or they're not mentally healthy. It's okay. You have to know that in order to be your best self, this is the first thing you need to take care of. Because you can have all the money in the world. You can um, have whatever you say you may want and need and desire. But if this is corrupt, it's going to all crumble. You're going to throw it away. You know what I mean? Because you don't have no discipline. You know, you don't you, you don't know how to respond to things in a proper way. You don't know how to foresee a negative situation. It's just a lot you lack when you when you lack up here, when you lack common sense, or you lack like the desire to want to be better, or the desire to want to sustain where you at. Because a lot of people get to where they want to go and it's like they don't give a fuck still i'm the same nigga from the hood yeah all that bullshit that ain't gonna get you nowhere but back in the hood you know or back to ground zero with nothing you know with nobody you know and it's like it don't be worth it like at all you know and again like i'm not in their minds to know why they do what they do why they make the decisions they make I feel my duty is just to, like, pass on certain messages, you know, because I'm growing a fan base. I'm growing, you know, a lot of solid supporters. And I always want to give a positive message, even out of the most negative situations, you know. So, 
I find these situations as opportunity. Speak how I feel. You know, also give out good energy for the people that's affected or involved in the negative situation. And also help somebody who might be going through something similar or who might possibly be uh, about to be in a situation that they're not aware of because we can't predict the future. But it could change their mindset. They might get up out the hood. You know, they might, you know, stop involving themselves in things that's going to ultimately <laughs> lead them to their demise, you know. The things you do that you know you're not supposed to do ultimately it leads you to your demise. And we know these things, though, like, we know these things, but it's just hard to apply what we know. You know, it's not the easiest thing to do. But, you know, with me, with you, we can help one another. You know, when y'all hit me on Instagram, when y'all comment on my videos, just with all the positive energy and the love y'all show me, like, that do a lot for me. You know, I get it from my kids, from the people I'm around, I'm around but... At times, I feel that we expect that the people that love us, say they love us, or our kids, or our friends, or our partner, they're supposed to. That's how we feel. We feel entitled. But when total strangers are saying, oh, you, you, you good at what you do, or, you know, I love your energy, or, you know, you get this praise from people that don't know you, I think it hit us a little different. And that's something we got to correct as human beings. You know, we have to value um, the people around us just as much as we value you know, people that's not around us on the daily. You know, that's something we got to correct. But, um, yeah, man, just, man, just stay positive, man. I hope y'all been taking care of yourself. Um, it's easy to fall off. Like today, man, I'm like, man, I'm going to fast, right? I'm going to go three days fasting, just, you know, tea, water. You know, I'm going to eat nothing, but uh, it's a struggle. I don't mentally, I'm not ready for that. That's what I mean by being mentally strong. I'm not mentally ready to fast, mm -hmm. You know, and um, just like little Reese in his situation, he's not mentally strong enough to get up out the hood, stay out the hood. You know, he's not mentally strong enough to do what Chief Keith has done. You know, and I don't know, man. Let's pray for him. You know, I don't know the update. You know, hope all three dudes are good. And um, just take these 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 traumatic situations as lessons. You know, learn from them, and um. Always give out good vibes, good energy. I see that. Good vibes. I see that. That's what I'm about, you know. And um, it's not always being positive. It's not always easy to be positive. But as long as you put in that effort, man, you good. And um, yeah, man, that's it for this video. Make sure y'all taking care of yourself, eating right, thinking right, sending out positive energy and love to the world. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'm going to catch you on the next video.